What's up, Warriors of Goku? Welcome back. We are doing some more Warriors Orochi 3 Ultimate. And a uh, quick word here. Um, so you'll probably see me get possibly bodied here because this is a high level difficulty mission. Um, I am only level, I think, I mean, I'm level 57 or 60 with Ryu, so I should be okay. But if you see the rest of the team get bodied, Ayane is only level 40 and Kasumi is only level 30. That's not the way to find out. 21! I lied. 21. Even worse. So, yeah, if you see my team get bodied, it's because of that. For those of you who are unaware as to why they are so low-leveled, I had almost every character at level 100, but I originally played this on Xbox, and uh, Xbox no longer wants anything to do with with Koei games at all. Um, Dynasty Warriors and Empires? Doesn't work. Warriors Warriors 3 Ultimate? Doesn't work. So, I just want to be able to get that quick disclaimer. That's, that's literally the only reason why these characters are not maxed out, because... I had almost every character maxed out, but I can't even get through... I can't even get through the menus now on Warriors Roger 3 Ultimate on my Xbox anymore. It's just... It's done. I don't know why, but my Xbox hates Warriors Roger 3 Ultimate for some reason. Like, it's giving more hate than it does um, Dynasty Warriors 8 Empires, and that's not good. Like, I can't traverse the menus at all. And there goes my phone. But yeah, so we're just playing a little bit of Ryu here and everything. Just... Having a little casual fun showing him off because uh, he is one of the returning characters in Warriors Roshi 4 Ultimate. So I want to be able to just give a quick disclaimer once again to people. Because some people have been mentioning like they would like to see new characters come in here or possibly some new characters. I know a lot of people are just hot on Achilles right now. And uh, I'm one of them. I, I, I would like to see Achilles. I'm not a huge fan of playing as Achilles, but I think he would really fit in this game well, pretty well with story-wise. If they do the story right, I should say. But I doubt we'll ever see like new guest characters, at least for now, because th like they mentioned in the interview, they're only bringing back returning characters, like returning guest characters. That's it. So as far as we know for now, the only characters that are going to be back are from the, the guest characters from Warriors Roshi 3 Ultimate. Not any new ones. So we most likely will not see anyone like William. I know some people were like wanting to see William from Neo. And uh, some other some other characters that weren't in this game, maybe like in Warriors All Stars, perhaps, but not in this game. And I guess it. Whoops, sorry, we're not here to play with you, Kasumi. At least not for now. I gotta level you up first and get you on Gauntlet mode. I, no, actually, I have Kasumi now on Gauntlet mode. I think I think I got her during the stream. I'm not sure. But uh, by the way, that was really fun that stream. Thank you to all of you who showed up to that stream. That was a that was a blast of a stream. I had a I had a very very enjoyable time doing it. Oh, why aren't you dead, though? Well, you dead now. Hip. Primary Lotus, I like to say. I stole that from Lee. From uh, Naruto. I'm a weeb. But... But, yeah. So, any of the new guest, any new guest characters that you guys are probably hoping for... I'm not saying it won't happen, maybe. But I highly doubt it will. Because, like I said, they were really only mentioning returning guest characters. So, I feel like... The next highest ones, I still feel. And if I'm wrong, wow. Okay, just uh, smack me on the head, why don't you? It will... But I'm pretty confident it'll either be Achilles or... I don't know how to say his name, really. Uh, Nemia or something like that. I feel like it's going to be one of those two characters. I don't feel like it's going to be, like, any of the ultimate characters. If they bring Sturkenberg, I know some people will be, I know a lot of people will be disappointed if it's just Sturkenberg. I personally will enjoy it because I love Sturkenberg, dude. Sturkenberg's a shit. But... I don't think it'll be him. Honestly, anyone from the base Warriors Roshi 3 game, like uh, before Ultimate even, I'm pretty certain they have a better chance of getting in there more than the uh, Ultimate characters. Will they ever return? I, I don't know. Maybe they'll just be an extra DLC. Maybe maybe this is Koi Tecmo's way of like saying, like, hey, you want these other characters? Here's some DLC you have to pay for it in order to get it. I mean, they've done something like that. They, they pretty much did that with Dynasty Warriors 9 with like, hey, you want these weapons back? You're going to have to pay for them. So, I mean, it wouldn't it wouldn't surprise me if they go that route. It, it really wouldn't surprise me. Arr, I love that. Also, possibly rip to this awesome uh, R1 move where he glides through the air. Big gold rip -a rooney on that one. I'm hitting nothing. Why not? Why am I hitting nothing? Why am, why am I dumb? 
So yeah, I, I, so me personally, Namiya and Achilles, I feel like probably have the highest chances. Ione probably the lowest of the ones that I'm confident about. But and I'm pretty confident that she won't be because I because we have Ryu here, and I was also mentioning this because this is fresh off. This is literally the, I'm recording this the night before because I've been so far behind in my scheduling because of uh, that that Saturday, my shorter weekend. So I'm literally. Re been recording at least this and Fanlore Friday, literally the the day before, the nights before. So yeah, I think also one day if I ever get like late on certain days, I'll probably just live stream those intended videos. I don't know. We'll see how that goes. I'd like to see. I'd like to do that. I think that'd be pretty fun. Get up, you fool! Oh wait, I don't have I don't have R one. <laughs> I was going to do my R1 attack. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Please stop. I don't like you, Katsuge. Oh, wait. You can Don with the clutch. Primary nothing, because I missed. Dope. He almost killed me, though. Thankfully, I leveled up. Oh, I forgot to change Ayane. Or, er, not Ayane. Excuse me. Kasumi's outfit, because I'm not really a huge fan of... Her dead or alive outfit. I really like the. I really like that they brought in her uh, ninja guide outfit. I wish they did that for Ayane and Momoji as well, but I guess it'd be like that sometimes. Yeah, I don't know how long this battle's gonna be. Maybe we might have to do a cut here because I don't want the video to be too short. Like I, I don't mind going through it because I got like I gotta also edit this video and I also got to uh, prep up Fanlord Friday's video. So hopefully it's not too short of a battle if it is then we'll we'll do another battle just in case i'm doing i'm actually doing one right now that i haven't done yet but as you can clearly tell from this battle i did at least get through the uh hydra battle or i don't know if it's even the hydra battle you just have to get through the orochi orochi x uh stages like the demise of orochi or world's end but i got through those what the hell is that guy doing he was gliding there. It looked like he was about to do uh, Machao's Muso. He had his hand in front of him, his spear behind him. I was like, oh, he's about to do He's about to do that like clone jutsu kick on me. Oh, look, it's uh, generic Fazeng. Oh, dope, I missed again. I guess, or I guess I just didn't hit triangle fast enough. But yeah, I was trying to do, a, I was on a quest, honestly, to get uh do a full-blown ninja gaiden gauntlet mode team and i just couldn't do it i couldn't find ryu in time uh and on my ps4 version i think i have ayane and kasumi but i don't have rachel i already have momoji because i already she was already on my team but i don't have ryu or rachel i think i don't well actually i don't know if i have ayane i know i have kasumi and momoji okay so there's still enemies coming all right that's good but yeah if we get below 10 minutes here in this battle i'll be like oh dope that's fine. We're pretty much just here to do a little bit of gameplay and have some fun with Ryu because we're getting some hype for Warriors Orochi 4 Ultimate. I'm not getting super hyped into it right now because even though we did get Ryu, which I which is one of my favorite guest characters, I'm still skeptical on how 4 Ultimate's going to be. Like, I, I feel like this time I'm going to be a lot more cautious instead of just being like, oh, dude, like check these cool things out that we have no idea about. Like, This is going to be awesome. That's how I said with Base Wars RG4, and whoa boy, was I disappointed. It wasn't a shit game, it was just disappointing, in my opinion. Like, the launch wasn't as bad as Dynasty Warriors 9's launch, that's for damn sure. The launch of Dynasty Warriors 9, whoo boy, I was, I was not happy with that. Oh, that's my least favorite look for both Zhang Jiao and Wei Yan. Actually, let's do this. Let's let's uh, try to see. I love those. I love. I know, like, uh, slightly homo here, but uh, Ryu's got some badass eyes. I like his eyes. But yeah, it looks like this is probably gonna be a short one. So maybe we'll do one more battle just for the sake of it. And before I get absolutely destroyed here, all right. Let's at least take out Jake Jia before I get body possibly by Zhuge Liang. He's very far away from me. And he's blocking me. And he's blocking me. Aha, my wind and po. I think that's what it is. Oh, Ayane, I think we're still doing her thing. Unless that was Kasumi firing a blast at him. I don't know why. Looking at Kasumi in that outfit, though, it, rem it makes me want to play... Um, ooh, Wong Zhong's here, and I'm actually kind of scared about that. 
Why not? Oh, what is that? Oh, that's just you. Oh, he's doing a he's doing a lightning. God, I hate Huang Zhong so much. I literally hate Huang Zhong. Yeah. There we go. Increase the defense. Fuck me again. If, see if I don't get pissed off. Uh, hello? Oh, there he is. I was like, uh, where'd you go? Yeah, maybe we'll do, like, another short battle or something. Because I know there's some battles here that are pretty short. I was, I actually, uh, this is my second attempt doing the PS4 version of Wars Archer 3 Ultimate. Because I, I played on a stage, but it was like, it looked really short. So I was like, you know what? Probably won't play on that. Yeah, and as I mentioned, teammates got bodied. Or, well, Ayane did. Ayane died. Actually, yeah, I'm surprised Ayane did. Did you get Leung, like, lose health now? Hello? All right, it doesn't help that you're sending him in the air, Sushu. Did I ever mention I just don't like Sushu? Like, he's actually being a hindrance right now to me. He does not want to do that other... Uh, does not want to do my primary Lotus. Let me do the pri... Uh-oh, uh-oh. Ah! ah, that's what I need. This will finish off Shugeleong if he doesn't block. Yeah, there we go. At least I hope so. Oh, well, it doesn't help if I'm, like, going completely the wrong way. Man, this man, has a, this man does not die. Just, just perish. Everyone else died relatively easily. You, on the other hand, sir, are not do. Can I not, like... Is there, like, a kind of, like, crazy thing that... There we go. Oh, pretty beautiful way to finish him off. All right, so that was around 11 minutes of the battle. So we'll probably do another one. So actually, yeah, we'll do another one. So hang tight. We're going to do another battle here in just a second. So I will pick a short... I'll pick a short one. And uh, we'll hop back into it. Okay. Yeah, I try to hopefully pick a bit of a quicker battle here. So I'm hoping... I'm hoping along with uh, Ryu's moveset, because obviously it still looks the same. It looks like there's just been some cool tweaks to it that make it look a lot better with more effects and everything like that. But um, I'm really hoping... I don't think there's going to be any huge difference towards Ryu's moveset. I it looks literally pretty much just like a copy and paste of what he was in this game. So at least part of me is hoping that maybe like there's some modifiers to maybe increase his range, maybe something to make, I don't know, something to make it just a tiny bit better. I mean, obviously we're going to have the sacred treasures and everything. It's going to make him look slightly different to how he was in this game. Regardless, he was a really fun character and everything in this game. Part of me just wants to see some, if not changes, improvement in his moveset. Because even though he is still one of my favorites, there's always room to improve uh, anyone in, in any game. But I feel like Ryu should be no different with that. So hopefully with these cool added effects, that also means maybe he had like some buff and range and stuff like that because... Sometimes I feel like you have to get really close to your enemies with for Ryu. Obviously, of course, it's also my fault because I don't have a attack range up for him. Ooh, XP Fever. I don't think this battle will be a long one either. I think this one will be a pretty quick one, but I just wanted to be able to show off Ryu a little bit more in this uh, in this video. That and also my recording ended up freezing up during... Uh, a previous battle I did, and, it, and that was okay because it was actually taking a lot longer than I wanted it to because I didn't want it to be a super long video. Oh, how'd they get over there? Well, okay. I don't, <laughs> don't know how they got over there. They're already over at the village and everything. Yeah, so I just decided to just replay a mission that I thought would be, that would go pretty quick. So I remember this one, you just have to go like defeat certain people, go uh, try to break Gracie's box, and she's like, ow, don't do that. Or she just says, ow. And then you got to take out the guys at the bottom, at the very bottom, and then you got to take out uh, Zhang Bao, I think is over here. And then just take out Zhang Jiao, and then that's pretty much a wrap. Should be a pretty quick one. But yeah, so I really do feel like um, with, with these returning characters, I just really kind of do, even though, like I mentioned, I'm not a huge fan of uh, Achilles or anything like that. I never really was. But I feel like either him... I feel like the ones from the base game of Warriors Rochi 3 would just be a much better suitable character choice. Instead of... Well, this is definitely Gracia. Yeah, it's definitely Gracia because I'm beating... I was beating the crap out of that box. Yeah, this is definitely her. Alright, well, now that I triggered that, we might as well just keep going over here. Urgh. 
There we go. All right. That's when I was kind of just bodying through the people anyway. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, I hope they eventually get to level up all the Ninja Gaiden characters again. I would love to do another, if I haven't already, do another um, Ninja Gaiden Gauntlet team. Well, first I need to get them all. I have to get every character <laughs> again. These archers are cleaning Kasumi of her health. Good lord. Kasumi's about to die. I'll just, I'll just retreat, make them retreat. This is the Rio show after all, so it's not a big deal. I'm going to try to enjoy this uh, R1 attack as best I can. Because uh, we all know that it's eventually going to be going away. Oh, they're just coming to me. All right. So that actually makes things ten times easier. All right. These archers are really annoying, though. Like, they don't even, like, stagger you anymore. But they're just, they're just annoying. Like, like, when you get hit by them, you're annoyed. Archers are still, in my opinion, the worst enemy in this game. They are the true challenge. Ninpo! Also, I find this mission to be very, very humorous as well. I like the mission. I need to get eventually get the DLC for this game as well. By the way, also, if you're seeing this, I may... I don't know. I may... It's going to be tough because I'm going to have to do uh, Vendor Friday stuff that same day unless I just make today, which is the 4th a complete utter just recording night because I can only the only time I have to record these is during uh, nighttime when I uh, am in, when I'm days late which I was behind because of my schedule being changed again so hopefully I I, I, I want to be able to do a live stream maybe of River City Girls because I've been hyped as hell in that game that game looks really cool and I've seen one of the animators I followed them on Twitter they're just always showing like cool stuff with them. So I'm looking. I really am looking forward to playing that game. Most likely it'll just be solo because I don't think anyone else has that game that I know, or and no one's gonna get the game that I know of. I don't know. We'll see. I'd love to be able to stream it. I think it'd be pretty fun. We shall wait and see. All right, so yeah, literally this is the end of the mission right here. All right, might as well bring the squad back because uh, Kasumi's all good now. Dumb bitch. Ow. Did I ever mention that I just hit... Whoa, voice crack. Did I ever mention that I just legit hate archers in this game? Oh, my God. They just give so many. They're just like, heh, we know how annoying these people are, so we're just going to put in 50,000 of them. Why would you do that, Koei Tecmo? Why? Archers are just the greatest invention ever. They just piss off everyone. Let's just put hundreds upon thousands of them in one spot. So your team can literally just eat turds. I don't like it. Yeah, maybe I'll find a friend eventually uh, before the day's over or the night's over to see like if I can have if I have someone that may be getting the game. But uh, most likely it'll just be a solo game, a solo playthrough, I should say. If if I end up live streaming or recording, I might just want to just I might just get incredibly tired from Fanlor Friday stuff and not do it. That's what's gonna be one good thing about Fanlor Friday because Fanlor Friday takes up a lot of the week of me doing recordings and everything. Once I finish that, I'll be able to do a lot more in terms of um, live streams as well. Because once I finish Fanlore Friday, I'm going to have so much more time on my hands throughout the week. And I won't have to stress about it. So, yeah, once that's done, I plan to probably do some more live streams and everything. Well, after this batch of characters, I said I was going to take a break from uh, Fanlore Friday as well. I'm not going to try to just rush it and just get it all done in one go. So after this batch is done, we'll probably take another break of Fanlore Friday so everyone else can finish their stuff. 
But uh, also do keep in mind, for those of you who are watching this and are Fanlord Friday people, you only have till the 15th of September to give me a character. If you don't have a character for me within that time, with a backstory, then they will not be shown off. Or, well, no, they'll get shown off. They just won't be... I just won't read a backstory if they don't have one beforehand. You got to make sure you have the backstory and the character itself ready before the 15th. Because if it's just going to be something where it's just a showcase of the characters, then I can just get all that done in, like, a recording. So all I have to do is just a free battle, do their ID card, and then call it a day. And I'm cool with that. So, yeah. For those of you who really want to get a backstory in and your character in, you got to make sure you do it before the 15th. 15th is when I am closing it down. So the 14th is technically your last day. But yeah, guys, so that was the showcase for Ryu Hayabusa in Wars Rochi 3 Ultimate, which is pretty much what he's going to be like in Wars Rochi 4 Ultimate. Maybe some tweaks here and there. Obviously, he's not going to have his R1 abilities. He's going to have his sacred treasures and everything that you guys could probably see in the trailer if you haven't seen it already. Uh, pretty solid to see Ryu back. I am really am hoping, though, that either... I feel like Achilles probably will be the most ideal character for the gods and everything like that. So here's hoping it's Achilles that's going to be the next one revealed. If not... Maybe we're going to get some fan servicey characters. I don't know. But money is on Achilles for me. So, yeah. If you... What do you... And I'm not going to... This will be the question here. So, if you guys... Not who you want to see. Who do you think is going to be the next character? Who do you think has the best, like, chances of being the next... The final character to be shown... Guest character that is returning? Where is Archie 4 Ultimate? So, be sure to let me know that in the comments down below. So, guys... If you all did enjoy the showcase, be sure to hit that like button. Like I said, comment down below about which character you, would, you think will have the best chance of making in Wars Virtue 4 Ultimate. And of course, if you're new to the channel, then be sure to hit that sub button. With all that being said, guys, thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Farewell.